Greetings lovelies, hi, it's Emmy. Welcome back to another Emmy Eats. Today I'll be eating Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico is a US territory, and these treats were sent to me by Little Miss L. So Little Miss L recently got married and went back to Puerto Rico for her honeymoon, and she included me along on her trip by picking me up a bunch of these Puerto Rican treats. Thanks so much, Little Miss L, for bringing me along on your honeymoon and for thinking of me. I've never had any Puerto Rican treats before, so this will be my first taste of Puerto Rico. All right, let's get started. This is called the flamboyant tree. This is the coqui. It's a type of frog that serenades you late at night. Little Miss Elle says she really misses them in the States. This is her favorite beach. Beautiful. This is called El Moro. So I don't know if it's related to the Moors, but a tourist place called El Moro. Fuerte San Felipe del Moro. Old San Juan. El Moro Fortress. It's called Ciento en Boca, and it's a snack. It means a hundred in your mouth. Not sure if it's savory or sweet. It smells sweet. And they're very, very cute. They're like little buttons with a little bit of a crenulated edge. A little fluted edge there. And there's a lot of them. So let's get that taste. Here we go. Mmm! Those are delicious. They're sweet, little kind of puffed biscuits. And they're a little bit like a cracker, a little bit crisp. They taste like Marilu biscuits, or Maria biscuits, but small. And you really can put a hundred in your mouth. She sent me some very traditional Puerto Rican treats as well. Um, this one, for example, let me take it out of his wrapper. And these were actually her wedding favors. This one is a coconut pineapple treat. It's slightly yellow in treat color. I don't know if you can see that. It smells great. Really strong coconut, slightly pineapple smell. Let's give that a taste. Lucky moss. Mmm! It's like sweet and coconut. And then a little bit of hint of pineapple. It's very nice. Here's another traditional Puerto Rican snack. She says this one's called Anjojoli, and it's like a sesame snack. Ooh, it has a really strong sesame, almost savory smell. Ah! Oh, wow! I was expecting it to be hard, and it's not. Hmm. I've had a lot of the kind of sesame brittle bars, but this isn't brittle at all. It's quite soft. It's like test whole sesame, whole roasted sesame seeds. It's held together with a syrup that's dark in color. Really strong, nutty, almost coffee like flavor. Nice, I like that. Now, these biscuits are called lube biscuits. They're called punky, or pinky, punky. Well, myself thinks they're originally Czech, maybe. But Lou is a very international company. We can even find them here in the States as well. So I've never had this before, but it looks like it's a wafer. It has a nice kind of wave pattern on it. And the top part is dipped in chocolate, and the bottom is not. Little Miss Elf says the way she likes to eat it is she pulls the layers apart. And let's see if I can do it. Yes, it's delightful. OK, here's a very thin wafer. Mm-hmm and tastes like a wafer or ice cream cone. Mm -hmm. Let's give the whole thing a taste. Here we go. Mm -hmm. It seems like every country seems to have their own version of this kind of wafer snack. And they all seem to be pretty similar. Milk chocolate sandwiched between layers of wafer. And it's nice. Reminds me of an ice cream shop. Here's this. And this reminds me a little bit of a guava snack that I had from Colombia, but it smells a little different. This one smells like coconut. Looks like a guava roll, but I don't think it is. Um, Mampostia. It's coconut and cane sugar. Again, very simple. Mmm. Mmm. A little bit of wax paper. Mmm. It's a bar. It has a little bit of a chewy texture in it, but as you chew it, you can also taste the and feel the bits of shredded coconut in there. But what's really interesting is there's a little bit of kind of sour notes in there as well. It's a little bit tangy, but of course quite sweet and caramelized. Very interesting. It's good. Mila Macel says these are originally from Spain, but of course become very Puerto Rican. And I love these cookies. I used to buy these all the time, and I love them with my tea. Let's see if they're at all like the ones I usually get. And, whoa. and here is one biscuit, beautifully pressed. 
Mm, mm -hmm. Very similar to the ones I usually get. Plain, light biscuit, slightly vanilla. Cookie. It's great. Perfect with tea. Look at this cute little candy. Ding! It's called Pilon. It's a little lollipop with sesame seeds in there. Can you see that? It doesn't smell like much. Let's give that a taste. Here we go. Hmm. I'm projecting my own biases towards this, thinking that it might be cherry or strawberry, but it's not. You get sweet and sugary, and then you get this little taste of sesame seeds as you lick it and eat it. It's good. It's really kind of subtle. This is called chocolate corte. This is supposed to be used to make hot chocolate, but I don't have any hot milk and stuff with me, but I'm going to give it a taste. Awesome. This is going to be perfect in the winter. Look at that beautiful bar. Cortez. Ah, oh, it smells great. It smells really chocolatey. Nice, strong chocolate flavor. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Really nice chocolate flavor. The texture is very odd because, again, this is supposed to be made for hot chocolate. It's supposed to be melted. So it's very granular and full of sugar, but really nice chocolate flavor. Quite surprised by that, actually. It tastes actually a lot like dark chocolate. It makes sense because you're adding a ton of milk to it, but it's not made to be eaten like a chocolate bar. Unlike hot Mexican chocolate, I don't taste any cinnamon in there. Yeah, I just taste chocolate. It's delicious. I love that. So this is called Turon Alicante and Calidad Suprema. So uh, this is Turon. This is originally again from Spain, but it's a staple around Christmas time. There's some wafer on there. Can you see that? Kind of holding it together. And then in between is white and there's some nuts in there. Ah! Mmm! It's almost solid almond. So most of what you get is this really great crunchy nutty flavor of roasted almonds and then it's held together with this kind of sticky hard candy that's nougat so I believe that wafer with a great harlequin pattern keeps it from being sticky and e makes it easy to handle but it's delicious my last one is in here and this one is little Miss L's favorite and she says it's just a coconut candy coconut little bar very similar to the pineapple one except this one is just coconut so let's give that a taste real. Whoa! Wow! Little Miss L, that's so sweet! It is similar to the coconut and pineapple one, but it has a fluffier texture, and I think even sweeter. And it seems like it's very, very simply composed of just pure sugar and coconut, and maybe something to bind it together, maybe a little corn syrup. Intensely coconutty, but pure coconut flavor. But very fun texture, it surprised me. Not sticky, but very kind of light. A little too sweet for me, but paired with like maybe a coffee or a cup of tea, I think that would be perfect. All right, that's it. That's my little taste of Puerto Rico. Thanks so much, little Miss L and your new hubby for including me on your honeymoon and bringing me back all of these Puerto Rican treats to try. It was a delight. And also let me know in the comments below if you've had any of these treats before, and if so, what do you think about them? And if not, does your culture have something similar? I love to hear about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you guys learned something, and I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye. And it's usually topped with mayonnaise and other kinds of toppings, seaweed and bonito and stuff, but it's delicious. Love it. And this is the pop and cook inversion. So this one will be cooking in the microwave. I remember taking swimming lessons when I was four, and one of the first things they taught you how to do was blow bubbles.